stage three ovarian cancer with a mixed histology, making it a little more complicated. So you have a split series of two tumor types in the same patient. So the patient had surgery, but her CA120 just kept rising, linked to her ovarian cancer. And the scans told a really messy story, endometrial low grade with a serous pattern, two villains sharing the same stage. The standard playbook wanted bigger hammer, but the patient didn't want to. She wanted a smarter switchboard. So today I'll show you how multiomics, deep planning, DNA, RNA, and spatial biology can help all kinds of different cancers. And we're going to focus on ovarian today. Genetically targeted fractionated chemotherapy combinations were used where we're microdose chemotherapy with adjuvant IV therapies to support the patient's health, energy, so that they're healthy through the whole process, detoxing the causes of the cancer, curating the targets based on deep laboratory testing that you don't really find anywhere else, and then went right in to boost the immune system and go after the cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. Dino Prado, and for the last 25 years, I've been blessed to work with a team that's helped patients who have failed the top cancer hospitals all across the United States, failed integrative care, all kinds of things. And today we're going to get into the heart of this story. So let's just call her Fran. She had heaviness, pain, and the news of stage 3C ovarian cancer. She had surgery and she wanted to move on, but weeks later, her CA125 climbed and the cancer spread even further, so it was even more advanced. But the story wasn't over because her cancer wasn't one thing. Her cancer had two different things. It had an endometrial part to the pathway and it had a low-grade serous behavior of the tumor. She didn't want to roll the dice and she didn't want the one size fits all standard oncology that she'd already been through. She wanted clarity and a custom plan. So this is where we came in and we looked at this with testing. And it's not uncommon to find that people may have more than one cancer going on, especially if it's complex. And especially when you look at the deeper molecular patterns, you'll see there are differences in different cancers. So we started with deep mapping. We did DNA, next generation sequencing, running out all those blueprints, RNA transcriptomics, and looked at all the different hormone signaling pathways, all the routes, all the resistant pathways, the T cells, natural killer cells, dendritic cells, suppressors. And we went into all these details and we looked at her stromal barriers to see if there were fibrous barriers preventing any treatment from getting to the tumors. And from there, we got a good takeaway. And here's what it is. This isn't just about a single switch to flip on. You're going to just do chemo or not, or just we're going to try this or try that. This is about detailed planning, which led to better detailed care. And that led for this particular patient, far better outcomes. And that's the key of precision oncology. We want to look at all these things so we can custom build the plan for you or for the patient so that they don't have the side effects and the, the hit or miss. So genetically targeted fractionated chemotherapy was very gentle. The timing was on, very low dose, but it was the right targets. And it did its job because it stimulated the immune system at the same time killing the cancer. And at the same time, we also used integrative care to support the resistant pathways so that the cancer would have a better kill rate. In addition to that, support the body's elimination and energy cycles for healing. So we kept the energy strong and we kept the immune system strong throughout the care. That's supporting of adjuvant IV phytotherapeutics. And these all have to be custom built in our pharmacies, whether they're curcumin, quercetin, EGCG, resveratrol, I'm just naming a few. We custom build those at the right targets, inflammatory pathways, cellular biologics in our international facilities to make the NKs and DC cells for the patient. All these are customized depending on each patient's need. And in this particular case, this was really important. The patient also needed a lot of mineral support. They had a lot of cramping and nerve damage from previous treatment, and we had to heal that. We had to protect the mitochondria, keep the energy and stamina up, but also take the cancer out at the same time. So we combined this precision, and she did beautifully well. Great quality of life, great response, and the cancer went into remission. But the key is, if we look at it, everything began with the right sequencing and targeting. That's why I'm always talking about testing and precision, because it takes the guesswork out, and it helps us to understand what the patient needs. And from there, we can give an honest opinion of this is the care we believe is going to help you because we have real data. And we're not just trying to slow things down with standard chemotherapy or use integrative care for support, but we're trying to get rid of the cancer. And that takes a whole different level of planning. There was a stromal barrier here, and so it was armored. And when you have these stromal barriers, you have these fibrous areas, which are very hard to get to. And that's why we need to get to those tumors directly. So we need to get to these tumors in a way where we go with a catheter the size of a hair, right into the blood supply, snake it into the tumor, kill it, seal the blood supply, come out and be done with a band-aid. No issues for the patient except for tumor kill and immune targeting now to that cancer without having to put all these toxins everywhere in the body. Because if there was a stromal barrier in that tumor, the IV chemotherapy wouldn't have been able to get there. So we didn't just watch and wait. We monitored the CA125. It came down. We looked at methylation scores, circulation.
circulating tumor cells and vesicles scores we look at and the imaging for checkpoints we look to see in spatial biology hey what's going on with the immune system why is it not responding the way it needs to and so we were able to turn the cold tumor hot with the right targets and the right components and the patient responded very well so in plain english in 25 slope came down pretty quickly her methylation score came down and her heat patterns for her tumor turned on meaning her immune system was going to work so as the plan unfolded symptoms eased gi comfort improved energy returned ca125 fell methylation signals cooled down imaging quieted and here we have a great outcome complete resolution not because we were using a bigger hammer or higher doses of chemotherapy or some integrative agents to support her but because we use smart precision targeting like a switchboard detailed targeted in that made all the difference every patient is unique and this is the type of care that allows for n of one precision targeting this is important so when we compare this to standard of care conventional path of care the patient would have done systemic chemo again full dose sometimes using agents maybe off label to as a smart drug to slow things down and the cons was it brings high toxicity and it can cause further mutation and further spread of the cancer and make it hard for the patient to tolerate the care so this is why it's so important that we use precision targeting here so we took the guesswork out and we allowed the chemotherapy to be targeted support the mitochondria the resilience the health of the patient all along the same pathway because that's part of the plan by design so we curated off-label drugs phytotherapeutics and and standard of care drugs and immunotherapy drugs in our own pharmacies customly designed for the patient then we did monitoring to make sure the patient went into remission and stayed the course so we got the response we wanted if you can remember one thing when you have complex cancer it doesn't mean it's hopeless it means you need more detailed marking it means you need more detailed planning and that's the key it's not an anti-chemo or chemo it's gtf genetically targeted fractionated chemotherapy it's timed it's dosed it's matched perfectly to wake up the immune system and make it an immunocentric care which is unusual for chemotherapy our iv phytotherapeutics just vitamins no they're physician directed compounds that work on specific pathways along with the other treatments inflammation immunity chemotherapy protect the liver sensitize the treatments to work better so why so many checks because mixed histologies with split cancers can adapt quickly and they can mutate and we need to monitor it very closely so we make sure that we kill the cancer without letting it mutate so this is the important thing questions you need to ask any team are you doing the dna and rna immuno profiling and stromal profiling with immunotherapy to understand the tumors are you using targeted micro dosing are you looking at which hormone blockades need to be improved or not or supported particularly with ovarian cancers what are going to be the adjuvant cares that are targeted with the immunotherapy with your specific cancer to help you because this is what was the secret to helping this patient to bulk the tumor put the patient in remission and adapt their care so their ca125 went away their cancer went away but they had good health and energy i hope this was helpful when cancer splits the plot don't reach for a bigger hammer but build a smarter switchboard subscribe to learn more about precision oncology and i hope this was helpful may the lord bless you on your journey to healing